Hey, this is Jeff Rose, SoldierOfFinance.com. Welcome again, everybody. Today I want to share a quick story and just uh, bear with me real quick. Met with some folks that were telling me a story about their daughter. Their daughter had received their paycheck directly deposited into their checking account. Two days later, for whatever reason, the payroll company took the paycheck back out of her checking account and she was totally unaware of this. This happened right before Christmas and the daughter proceeded to write several checks, paying for things, paying for bills, etc. Next thing she knows, she gets a phone call from the bank stating that, hey, you know, you, uh, we've got some overdraft charges or, you know, we got some bounce checks coming. And in a, in a frantic, you know, the daughter races the bank to, to find out what the heck's going on because she knew that she got paid and it was in there. And as I mentioned, turns out for whatever reason, there was some glitch where the payroll company from her employer deposited the money and then two days later pulled it back out. And it was, there was no notification from them or her bank or whatever. And you know, my clients were telling me this story about it and how you know the daughter was in such disarray and she was how angry she was. Now she's got to jump through hoops because of you know what the payroll company did to her, all these overdraft charges, she's got to collect her bank statements and, and go on this. And you know, I kept hearing this, this casting of the blame towards the payroll company, you know, and, and also the bank, you know, for, for not notifying the client, not notifying the daughter. And where I agree that there is some blame to be passed that they didn't notify her, the only thing that I could, could keep thinking about was why, why didn't they have enough in there as an emergency fund as a just in case? You know, if they would have had more than just the paycheck that was just recently deposited to pay their bills, she would have been more than covered. But the fact that they were living paycheck to paycheck, they didn't have the right amount of emergency fund. I mean, they didn't have any emergency fund, obviously, which they're bouncing checks. And that, that's all I could keep thinking about. So. When I was hearing this story, all I could keep thinking was, you know, who are you casting blame on? You know, are you going to blame them for, for overdraft charges when if you would have took it upon yourself to have the discipline that a soldier of finance does to have an adequate savings account just in case for these type of emergencies, they would, never would have been an issue. So if you are casting the blame on certain items like that, take a step back look at yourself and be like, hey, am I really financially sound? Do I need to take a, a second look and, and get my savings in order? Most likely, I'm gonna say the answer is yes. If you wanna prove me wrong, then go out and do it. This is Jeff Rose, SoldierFinance.com.